Let me show you how to add trades to Edgewonk and for that you have two options. First, you can choose to bulk import the trades directly from your broker's statement. And for that we go to imports in the bottom left. First, we have to choose the import type, which refers to the broker or the platform that you are using. Next, we choose the setup, that is the setup that will be applied to all the imported trades. And then finally, you just simply have to drag and drop the statement that you want to import. If you don't know how to get the correct statement, click on the blue link here. This will take you to our FAQ where we walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to get the correct statement. And then all the trades will be imported automatically to your Edgewonk trading journal. But you can also choose to manually input your trades. And this is done in the journal. And this is also where you'll see all the previously entered trades in your Edgewonk trading journal. To enter a new trade, we click on the blue add trade button. And then the pop-up comes up. The mandatory fields are marked here with a star. And we can just go through the list one by one and add the different inputs. First, we need to select the entry date. When did you take that trade? You can also change the time of the trade entry here. Next is the instrument. We can click on here and then you will see a list with all previously used instruments. If you're entering a trade with an instrument that you have not used before, you can just type in here directly. For example, let's type in US dollar CAD and then we click it here by confirming. Next, we enter the setup. Some traders will refer to this as a strategy. Here you can enter the strategy that the trade is based on. For example, let's assume this was a head and shoulders pattern. We confirm it once again and now it's saved. Then we have to select the direction, buy and sell, which in our journal refers to long and short. Let's assume this is a long entry. Then we just have to enter the entry price. What is the price that you have entered the trade at? The quantity is next and now you can already save the trade in Edgewonk. What you see is that if you save the trade now, the trade has a white background. This refers to an open trade because we have not entered the exit date and the profit yet. We can do that now and then you will see how this changes. Now we enter the exit date. We can also add the exit time of course. We can add the exit price here. The profit and loss will be automatically calculated if you are entering stock trades. However, for other markets such as Forex and futures, this has to be done manually. The reason for that is because we are dealing with different tick and point values and also different currencies. Of course, if you are choosing to import your trades with one of the import features, then all of this will be done automatically for you and you don't have to worry about this. Now when we save the trade, you will see that the background updates to a green background. This shows you that this is a winning trade and you have made money on that trade. What I've shown you are the mandatory input fields, but there is more that you can add. For example, you can add screenshots to your trade. For every trade in Edgewong, you can add six screenshots. You can either choose to upload a image file from your computer hard drive, or you can paste the URL from TradingView, for example, and then we will pull it in automatically. Under advanced trade data, you have things such as the trade comments. They will unlock the tilt meter and also the efficiency. But we have more videos on that later as well. Let me just quickly show you how this works. So you can rate your entry, your exit and your trade management in Edgewonk. And what you could do here, for example, is say this is a good entry because I adhere to all of my trading rules. You can do the same for exit. And let's assume this was according to the plan. And this describes a good behavior as well. Then for the trade management, we can say that we didn't manage the trade at all. And this is a neutral input field. Now when we save the trade, what you will see is that the tilt meter will update here. The tilt meter gives you a visual representation of your level of discipline. A green tilt meter means that you have mostly respected your rules. A red tilt meter would indicate that you have broken your rules repeatedly. What you can do as well here is merge, duplicate and delete trades. For example, if we tick this, we can directly duplicate the trade. And now you can see we have two trades with the same inputs. You can of course then open one of those trades and change them if you'd like. You can also merge two trades if they have the same instrument and the same direction. So we merge them and then you can see from two trades we get one again. If you are scaling into and out of your trades, you can also journal this in Edgewonk. We can pull up the trade once again and then the blue plus icon will open the individual positions of the trade. Here we are seeing two entries and two exits. The reason for that is because we have just merged two individual trades. You can add new entries, you can add new exits as well here. And this is how you capture scaled in and scaled out trades when a single trade has multiple positions. And this is how you journal your trades. At this point, I want to address the two most commonly asked questions. 
First, some traders are wondering and asking about the decimals. Some traders don't have enough, some traders too many. The decimals are controlled through your settings and through the choice on the markets. For example, if you only take stocks, then you will only have two or three decimals. If you're taking Forex, then you will get five or six decimals. So if you don't have the right amount of decimals, then please revisit your settings here. Save the input afterwards. The next question that we often get refers to the gain and the loss in percentage. Some traders report that it doesn't make sense what they're seeing here. This can happen when you are missing the deposit. So for that we go to settings and under deposit you have to make sure that you have an initial deposit. The deposit date has to be set before the first trade date in Edgewonk. Then this will also work accordingly. Under settings you can then access the different inputs that you have chosen. For example here you see then a list of all the different instruments that you have used. You see a list of the different setups that we have used. Here we can also see the different trade comments for entries and exits and trade management. We can change the rating directly here. You can also create new ones directly here under the settings as well. The custom statistics are a very powerful feature in Edgewonk, but we are reserving a separate video for this specific feature.